black have to um, unite. I think that people being open. I guess self-awareness, you know, take a step back and look at yourselves. Well, I found out in my book that, or with something that I already knew, that the, the way African Americans were treated in the 1940s during World War II was a really, really terrible time. So many African Americans went into the service, over a million, and not only did they have to deal with, you know, Hitler's armies and Iwo Jima's battles with the Japanese and um, all the things that any soldier would have to face, but they also faced incredible hatred and discrimination, but still they persevered. And I believe that these men and women who served in World War II, well, actually, they are the generation that began the Civil Rights Movement. Way back in the early 70s, <laughs> I was a little kid. My neighbor gave me a little Polaroid camera, and I started playing with it, started taking family photos. One thing led to another, and then I actually was an athlete in school, in high school, and then I was going to go to college, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I met someone, and they said, just follow your passion, and my passion was taking pictures. So I figured I would translate that into some money one day, and that's what I majored in in school. Being African American, you're either first generation or second generation, either first generation homeowner, your first generation college graduates. Just, a, just in the 60s, we were fighting for our civil rights. So, I mean, you know, that's like 40 years ago. So if parents experienced some of that, you know, oppression from the civil rights. Being African American, we still have generations to catch up. encouraging our young people because they're the future. If adults have no hope, the young people certainly don't have any hope. So we want to give the adults hope, but we want to give young people the hope. And hope is not mediocrity. Hope is that you serve a God that's an excellent God and you should do excellent in your studies, uh, working hard and trusting that he make up the difference. Many of our youth think that C is good, that you know, as long as I pass, that's okay. In this very challenging and, com and competitive world, that is just not sufficient. And so we want to encourage them to reach for the stars and, you know, or reach for the moon. And if you get a few stars along the way, that's good. That, as I would say, that's cool. I think we need to keep pushing. I think that rather than depending on white people to straighten out the issues in the inner cities with education, I think we need to advocate for ourselves and advocate within our families. I think we only go up from here. Um, you know, progression is a great thing. Um, it'll lend to uplifting African American community once they see a, a, a black man in the White House. I think other African Americans will try to, you know, run for office and, you know, strive for uh, greater things. As one great author said, it can be the best of times and the worst of times. We've had the worst of times with the wars and so forth, but it looks like we're also going to be experiencing the best of times as well.